Vulnerability is a superpower. Dragonfly eggs are laid upon a floating plant or dropped directly into the water. From the egg, a larva hatches, but it may remain underwater for up to four years in this larval form called a nymph. Dragonflies skip the cocoon stage, moving from egg directly to nymph. Then, at some point, the nymph climbs onto a rock or a leaf, and there it emerges from its former body and takes on the shape and character of an adult dragonfly. This transformation unfolds openly and visibly. It can be messy and exposed to the world to see. But through this raw vulnerability, dragonfly grows and transforms into a stunning creature. Hello beloved ones, my name is Melanie and this is episode 6 of Harmonious, where we explore the synergy of crystals and herbs. Today, we will explore the herb fennel and the crystal carnelian and how these beautiful beings can help us in the balancing of our sacral chakra. But before we move on, I need to emphasize that everything you learn in this podcast is for educational purposes only. Please do not start or discontinue any treatment or medication based on what you learn in this podcast. It is essential that you consult a medical doctor before initiating or discontinuing or changing any medications or treatments for your physical, emotional or mental health. And please make sure that you're not allergic to any of the herbs that you wish to experiment with. So in the previous episode, we explored a little bit about Ayurveda, the traditional medical practice of India, and how our chakras or our energy channels are defined. We also explored the first of seven main chakras of the human body, the root chakra. Today, we will discuss the sacral chakra or the Svadhisthana, which is the second of our seven main chakras. The sacral chakra is the seat of our creative energy. It governs our feelings of pleasure, physical love and sexuality. The color associated with the sacral chakra is orange. When this chakra is properly developed and balanced, we feel creative, we comfortably express our sexuality, and we easily go with the flow of life and effortlessly create material abundance and joy. Now, for this next part, I need to give you a trigger warning as we're going to explore some of the causes and manifestations of an imbalanced sacral chakra, which includes trauma. If you prefer not to listen to this part, skip two to three minutes forward. Now is the time to skip if you choose to do so. So, imbalances in our sacral chakra can leave us feeling shameful or guilty, especially with regards to areas of our own sexuality. Sexual trauma or abuse may lead to suppressed and internalized anger, which can block our emotions. Self-sabotage and self-criticism may hold us back. Relationships may become unstable. And we may end up blaming ourselves for these results. An overactive sacral chakra may lead to possessiveness, jealousy, and sexual addictions. Alright, now let's explore the herb fennel or Phenniculum vulgare. It is a perennial herb with a long history of culinary and medicinal use. It is native to the Mediterranean, but it is now cultivated in many parts of the world. Fennel can grow up to 6 feet tall and has feathery leaves, yellow flowers and seeds with a sweet licorice-like flavor. The energy of fennel is masculine. 
and it is associated with the planet Mercury, and its element is fire. In cooking, fennel is a versatile ingredient used in a variety of dishes, particularly in Mediterranean cuisine. It can be eaten raw or cooked and is commonly used in salads, soups, stews, and roasted dishes. The seeds are often used as a spice and are a key ingredient in Italian sausages and Indian spice blends. In terms of health benefits, fennel has been traditionally used for its digestive properties. It contains compounds that can help suit and relieve digestive issues such as bloating, gas, and stomach cramps. It also has antimicrobial properties and may help stimulate the immune system. Fennel can be consumed in various forms, including as a tea made from seeds or as a vegetable. And it is a good time now to discuss a little bit about making or brewing tea. There are two main types of brewing methods. One is to add boiling water over the herbs, and two is boiling the herbs in the water for a certain amount of time. Generally, if the herb is harvested from gentle and fragile parts of the plant, such as the flowers or the leaves, it is better to boil the water first, then add the water to the herbs, cover it, let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes, then strain the tea and then enjoy. However, if the plant parts are rough, such as seeds and roots, it is a good idea to boil the herb in the water for 5 to 10 minutes, or longer if a stronger taste is desired, then strain the herbs. Technically speaking, the drink made by this method is not called a tea, it is a decoction. This is a good method for extracting the plant chemicals from the rough cellular wall of the seeds or the roots. Alright, it is now time to admire the crystal carnelian. It is such a beautiful stone in shades of red, orange, pink, and sometimes brown. Carnelian is translucent, and you can sometimes find beautiful layers of white and red in its structure. Carnelian is a grounding stone and it anchors us in the present moment. Carnelian is an excellent stone for restoring our vitality and bringing in fresh energy for motivation. Carnelian is a very helpful crystal for overcoming and healing from any type of abuse. This healing stone supports the healing of the lower back, rheumatisms, arthritis, depression, and it regulates bodily fluids. Carnelian helps our body absorb the nutrients better and supports a healthy blood circulation. So what are some ways that we can incorporate the herb fennel and the crystal carnelian into our daily life to cultivate their combined benefits for balancing our sacral chakra and for general wellness? One delicious method is to make fennel seed tea or decoction. Since carnelian has a 7 in the Mohs hardness scale, it is a safe stone to put in water. You can leave the carnelian stone in the water overnight and then use this water to make a decoction with fennel seeds. Add a little honey to this drink, strain it and enjoy. This tea is very helpful for a healthy digestive system and can be used before meals to help digest the food better. Another method is to wear orange color clothing. Soak your feet in a foot bath and add a few drops of fennel essential oil to the foot bath water. Hold a carnelian stone in your hands, close your eyes and repeat the following affirmations either out loud or in your mind. 
Here are the affirmations. Creative energy flows through me freely. I invite joy into my life. Abundance flows through me. I am passionate about my life. All right. So another method, which is one of my favorite methods, is to wear carnelian jewelry all day long. Plan to go to your local farmer's market, buy some fresh fennel, and you can roast the fennel. You can use it in soups and enjoy it raw in salads. All parts of the fennel are actually edible, so nothing goes to waste. For this next method. I love making crystal grids using carnelian stones and fennel seeds. Use your creative imagination and allow your sacral chakra to awaken with every artistic expression of your soul. Another method is to make fennel seed oil infusion using olive oil. You can place a carnelian crystal in the oil infusion as well. And let it rest for a few weeks. Then strain the oil infusion and use it to moisturize your skin, rub it on your abdomen for better digestion, and to awaken the sacral chakra. I truly hope that you enjoyed this podcast. Please share this episode with your friends and family who may be interested in this topic, and feel free to email me at mindful manifest two. At gmail dot com. Should you have any questions, comments, or just to say hi, my name is Melanie, and this was the Harmonious, where we explore the synergy of crystals and herbs. Until next time, stay happy and healthy.